Good? Good. Awesome. Uh, are, you, are you recording it? Yes. Yeah, it's going to be recording. It's going to go on YouTube. Oh, it's going to go on YouTube. It's going to go on YouTube. Just for you. You do. So, uh, what they're asking and uh, in this question is they're saying, all right, can we take this algebraic expression and let's put it into a verbal expression? I mean, let's you know write it out. So there's a couple things we need to look at and see what's happening. First of all, we need to see what's going on here. Well, here we see between the five and the m squared, we see that that's a multiplication. There's no addition sign, there's no subtraction sign, there's not a division sign, or it's not represented as a fraction, so there's no division. So therefore, we know that a lot of times we write this um, whenever we have a, a number next to a variable, with no sign, it represents multiplication. So we see multiplication is going on. We also see from our notes that we have a power. So our power is two, and then we also have an addition. So what we need to do is we need to work on a, a lot of the different ways that we can say, how do we say multiplication? Well, you could say m times, or five, I'm sorry, five times, and instead of writing m, I'd like you to say a number, because this, this letter represents something. That's why we call it a variable. All right, so I'd like you to call it a number. We don't know what m represents, so we're going to call it a number. So you could say um, five times. Please make sure you write it out. Five times a number. And then what's happening to that number? Well, that number is being squared, or you could also say it's being raised to the power of two. I'll just write a square for this first example squared, and then plus 2. Now let's write it in a different way, because there, there are different ways to write this. Your answers are not always going to be the same. We could also call this the product. So we could say the product of 5 and a number raised to the second power and let's see what are some other ways to say um, plus two you could say more or um, uh, more than two you could say the let's see the, um, increase by the sum or you could say you know the sum of the product of this and this so I'll just say uh, I'll say more than two So obviously this one's a lot longer than the other one, so you might be hesitant to write something like this. But I want to give you an example of there's multiple ways. So when you guys did your notes, remember we wrote those keywords for addition, multiplication, division, and uh, subtraction? Use those keywords to help you out. But the main important thing is to notice what's happening. We have, you know, multiply. We have a power. And we have addition. So you're going to have to use your keywords to represent each one of those. All right? So that's how you transform an algebraic expression to a verbal expression. See? Isn't that so much fun?